There's nothing more annoying than scratches and cracks in your display assembly, not to mention the possible bloody fingers if you're not careful. Well, I'm here to help. So today I'm gonna show you how to replace the display assembly in your Moto X. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and for this repair you're going to need a semi jack tool, an eye opener, plastic opening tools, a spudger, a T3 torque screwdriver, tweezers, and an iFixit tech knife. I have most of the tools I need in my ProTech toolkit, and of course, I have my magnetic mat here. I never do a repair without it. Remember, this is just an overview, so be sure to check out and follow along with the step-by-step -step guide appropriate to your repair on iFixit.com before you jump in. Let's get started. First things first, let's take out the SIM card. To do that, you just need to insert a SIM eject tool or a paper clip into the hole on the left side of the phone. Now we can work on getting the back cover off. First, we're going to release the clips around the edges with our opening tool and then hit it with some heat from our eye opener to loosen the adhesive pad. Insert your opening tool between the front and rear covers right above where you just took out the SIM card. Work your opening tool around the phone counterclockwise from this point. When you get to the other side of the phone, you wanna be careful around the buttons. The plastic is a little thinner in this area. Similarly, you wanna be careful at the bottom of the phone. Go from one corner to the USB port and then pick up on the other side of the USB port and go to the opposite corner. When all the clips have been released, you can heat up your eye opener and place it on the back cover for 90 seconds. When you feel the adhesive is sufficiently heated, you can attempt to pull the back cover from the phone, starting with the SIM card slot. But be careful not to take the cover completely off as it's still attached. And to detach that cable, you just need the help of your spudger to flip the retaining flap on the flash cable zip connector, and then using your fingers, just slide the cable out and set your back panel aside. Now we get a chance to use our screwdriver. Put that thing to work by removing the four T3 Torx screws holding the lower antenna assembly in place, and then use your spudger to lift the assembly out of your phone. With that out of the way, we can focus on the battery. To do that, we're going to use our spudger to disconnect the battery cable, the NFC antenna cable connector, and the button assembly connector. Don't let go of your spudger just yet. Slip the flat edge under the interconnect cable to free it from the adhesive holding it to the battery. And while you're there, you can use the flat edge again to peel the adhesive tab from the battery. Now you can use the tab to pull the battery from the phone. You might get a little resistance as it's secured to the motherboard with mild adhesive. Peel slowly and be careful not to bend or puncture the battery. 
With the battery out, we can turn our attention to the motherboard assembly, starting with the headphone jack and speaker assembly. Start by removing the five T3 Torx screws holding the headphone jack and speaker assembly in place. Then, insert your spudger into the pan handle of the assembly, pry up, and lift it from the foam. Now you have access to the microphone assembly. First, use the tip of your spudger to free the clip from the earpiece speaker, then flip your spudger around and use the flat edge to disconnect the microphone cable connector and lift it from the foam. The front facing camera is next and super easy to take out of the phone. Just disconnect the cable with the flat end of your spudger and lift it from the phone with your tweezers. Next, we need to remove the two T3 Torx screws from the SIM card slot bracket and remove it from the phone. Time for the motherboard. Let's start by inserting the flat end of your spudger under the motherboard above the button assembly cable. If the buttons pop out when you're on this step, that's fine, just don't lose them. Lift and rotate your motherboard from left to right, but be careful not to lift straight up. We still need to disconnect the display cable connector. Lay the motherboard down to allow access to the cable and use the flat end of your spudger to flip the retaining tab on the ZIF connector. Carefully pull the display cable out of its connector and remove the motherboard from the display assembly. Now we're in the home stretch. The last few steps, you'll need to remove a few pieces that will need to be added to your new display assembly, starting with your volume rocker and sleep and power button. You can use the tip of your spudger to nudge them from the phone and your tweezers to lift them out completely. Now you have a clear view of the button assembly. We're gonna use our hobby knife to pry the button assembly off the adhesive, securing it to the display assembly. But remember to keep the sharp edge of the knife pointed away from the cable to avoid accidentally cutting it. And once it's free, you can lift it off the display. Finally, you can use your spudger to pry the earpiece speaker out of the display assembly. For reassembly, we recommend you follow the step-by-step -step guide on ifixit.com in reverse, or you can watch the Moto X reassembly video on our channel. You can find all the parts and tools you need for this and many more repairs at ifixit.com and let us know how it goes. You can find me on Twitter at Gwendolyn Gay and follow ifixit at ifixit. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.